that's my solar power installation inverter good we and the battery Pymontech H2 this is 8 kilowatt inverter GW8 KNET this is connection to grid now it's turned off and this is smart meter and backup connection to the inverter currently it's the house is on the grid so we have bypass on inverter and battery pylon to H2 two modules 7.1 kilowatt hour let's start the inverter using only battery in off-grid mode I could just use a uh, solar switch, solar array DC switch to turn it on and power up from the solar array. But let's assume it's the middle of the night and there is no solar available. The grid is off, as you can see. Actually, the grid is not working at all currently on the whole street. So the first thing is to turn on the switch on the battery. This one and turn it on, and now if we press the start, it will start only for a very short time. It will beep, and in a while, it will show that there is no communication with BMS and the, and the inverter. As you can see, the inverter is still off. It tries to start up, but it's not enough power. Now let's see the battery status. And as you can see, the status light is orange, which means there is no BMS communication. So we need to fire up the battery in the black start mode when it causes the relays for 10 minutes and it gives time for the inverter to start up. To do this we need to hold the start button for about 10 seconds until we hear relays closed. are closed, contactors are closed. If we check the status. Now the status is blinking slowly, which means that the relays are closed and it gives time for inverter to start up. The inverter is starting up. It performs checks. And now, if the inverter is not configured to start automatically without grid connection, it will be in waiting mode. One way to turn it on is to use the SolarGo application and Wi-Fi network provided by the inverter. Now let's go to the application and start the inverter. We need to start by connecting to the Wi-Fi Uh, of the solar inverter. The default password is 123456678. We'll connect. And now for the phone to actually use this without internet connection. 
and now we'll go to the application SolarGo and here you can see our inverter we can connect to it it's loading all the data inverter is still not working I have set it before to upgrade mode but it's not necessary actually and now as you can see the status is waiting mode we take only power from uh, the Wi-Fi connection Let's connect again. And now we need to fire it up uh, using basic settings, backup, and we need to first code start from August. You can set this code start holding to automatically start the inverter every time it's uh, turned on in the off grid mode. So we need to press first code start. And now the inverter starts to fire up. As you can see, now the status starts to blink. And the inverter is starting up. And we have backup power, the grid is off, smart meter is not working because there is no electricity on the street. We have the battery status and we can also check the status on the battery itself. Communication is blinking twice, and we can see the uh, com blinking twice is meter fold, PMS OK, which means that we have communication with the battery now. And we can also start up the solar grid if there is solar using the DC switch. And now if there is solar power it will charge the battery. The battery is now in solid state, which means that the battery is charging. It was blinking before, which means it was discharging. And now we can actually switch the home, whole house electricity into backup using this bypass switch. And we have power from the inverter now. Now let's switch back to the app. I will turn on the cold start holding to start it automatically in case of any battery fault or over um, over power case let's go back to status let's wait for the refresh now the status is off grid we are taking solar power the battery is almost full Here we have the solar array production. There is no grid power here. 
and backup output status and battery status. <laughs>